I was not impressed by Penzance, much like any town with a high street of charity shops, pound something or other, and the usual WH Smith's boots etc. This probably accounts for me not photographing very much whilst I was there. Its best features were the Lido on the west side of town and the gentle walk round to Marazine and St Michael's Mount, although the weather that way looks a little threatening at the present. You might not believe this, but this is a wild cabbage. Not that I'm an expert. It had a label or tag on it, saying it was being studied by a local university. I found myself sharing the path with hundreds of these little fellows. Apparently they are fox moth caterpillars. Portleven, a bit of a honeypot, but reasonably quiet as I walk through. Just beyond Port Leven, you arrive at the Lou Cornwall's largest area of fresh water, just separated from the sea by Lou Bar, a spit of land that claimed the lives of 100 seamen in 1807. That looks like a well situated hotel just up the hill from Poldu Cove. In fact, it turns out to be the ex Poldu Hotel. It's now a retirement home. Pausing only for a short coffee break and to get my name down on the waiting list, I head on to the Marconi Monument just a few hundred yards away. The small harbour at Mullion Cove is picturesque from here and also looking back from the hill beyond it. A stretch of heathland follows and leads us onto Kynan's Cove, one of nature's rewards for sore feet and an empty stomach. The cove has several little secluded beaches and is a popular destination. Not far to go now to reach the lizard, food and beer at last.
I was tempted, very tempted, but wild ponies are not renowned for giving lifts to tired walkers. The Lizard, England's most southerly point. Further round the point, Catwith Cove and Harbour appear. Still an active fishing community and littered with pretty cottages. Round here they don't mind spending a bob or two on ornamentation. Coverack in sight, and beyond that, Port Hallow, the official halfway point on the southwest coastal path. Shown as 315 miles. Someone has a sense of humour in Portallo. Some miles beyond an estuary opens up and the Helford River is followed inland to the first of several river crossings along the South Cornish coast. Fortunately a ferry is available for this one. The village of Helford Passage is the end of the road for me until I return to continue my walk sometime in the future.